The Rockford Ice Sox get set to square off against the Chicago Wolves this evening in another battle for the Illinois Lottery Cup. Hello, everybody. Joseph Zakszewski with you for the Ice Sox Broadcasting Network. Well, after last night's game, the Ice Sox would open up a two-game homestand with Milwaukee an evening ago, suffering a tough 5-2 to two loss. But the score not indicative of the overall play for the Ice Sox in that contest. In fact, they made it rather close throughout the game. They had a 1-0 lead to the tail end of the second period. Then the third period would arrive. Milwaukee would jump out to an advantage of 2-1 before Lance Boma would make it 2-2 two two before the Admirals and then later on would grab a couple of empty net tallies en route to the victory. Well, after last night's game, we caught up with the goal scorer in Lance Boma about his play, that big tally, that would be his second goal of the season and how the Ice Hogs are going to adjust going into tonight against the Wolves. A tough loss the way the game ended there, but uh, you had a goal in it. What was, uh, what was working out there for you uh, and, and offensively? I think honestly, whenever we were simple with the puck and, and just try to keep things easy, uh, not make the perfect play all the time, we, we had success all night long. I think when we got into trouble is when we were trying to hang on to the puck a little too long and, and try to make that perfect play when it's really not there. Um, that's what really cost us tonight, I think. As far as, oh, go ahead. So yeah, like you guys did have a great first and second period, putting 20 shots on goal in the second. What was kind of working in the second that didn't carry over to the third? I think just exactly what I said there is, is we were very simple with the puck. We were direct with the puck. We we didn't look for that perfect play. I think in the third period a few times we, we tried to hang on to it too long. And when we did that, they had a good forecheck. And they're, they're a team that can score on their chances. And they did that. So um, obviously disappointing results of the game where we didn't play our best tonight. But um, yeah, disappointing. Do you feel snake bitten against this team? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think obviously. It's, just like I said tonight, we didn't have our best effort. So I think that's really just on us. Uh, I can't think you can say we're snake bitted against them because we didn't really have our best effort tonight. So uh, just put it behind us and move on. As far as uh, tomorrow night, what does that mean to get the, to get two points against the team that you've beaten a couple times lately here? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Every game here is huge. Um, they're a great team. Um, it's going to be a, a fun game to play in because it's going to be a physical game. And we just got to get a rest tonight and recover and then put this game behind us and just focus on tomorrow. I think, obviously, it's a good rivalry between us and Chicago, so everyone should be excited for it. This is the first game without Martinson. How do you think the team adjusted to that missing piece? Yeah, obviously, he's a key part of our team. Um, he plays those hard those hard minutes, and he always plays the right way. And um, maybe, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, he's a great player. He's a big part of our, big part of our team. So. Uh, just got to try to fill his shoes. Special thanks to forward Lance Boma for joining us here on the Ice Hawks Broadcasting Network. Rockford and the Chicago Wolves getting together once again for an Illinois Lottery Cup showdown here at BMO Harris Bank Center. And it is fitness night tonight, so come on out and join us. First 1,500 fans grab Dry Fit Ice Hog t-shirts thanks to our friends at Peak Fitness. Be sure to stick around for more Ice Hogs hockey puck drop not too far away. You're watching Rockford Ice Hogs hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network.